How to create attraction and emotional connection. Hi guys, my name is Christine Loveridge and I'm a dating, relationship and personal development coach. And today I'm talking about how you can create attraction and build a romantic connection with someone. So obviously the first thing that I wanna talk about is attraction isn't a choice. So these things might not necessarily work for you um, if the person you're talking to isn't attracted to you to begin with. Um, with using these techniques, you might be able to turn them into a friend, but if they don't at least find you a little bit attractive, um, then you're not going to have a romantic connection with them. You're just going to have a connection. So as long as the person that you have in mind already has some kind of attraction for you, these will work. Or these tips might also help reveal whether or not this person um, will have a romantic connection with you and does like you in that way. So I got asked recently um, about emotional connection and how, you know, creating a connection and basically what does that mean? Um, what, what, what are my thoughts on that? So basically from my own experience, emotional connection and having a romantic connection with someone is when you are able to relate to one another. I and mean, then it's kind of similar to when you make new friends. Um, so it could be like a relatable experience. So let's say you both like to go to the same place on holiday and for whatever reason you're having a conversation and you suddenly come up with the topic of talking about places like you like to go to on holiday or something and they're like oh I really like this place and you're like oh wait me too and then you just have that connection because you've both been there you both like the place and you've kind of made like an instant friend and this kind of stuff happens also when you are dating people um, and this is what helps build that connection because when you go on a date with someone this is the kind of stuff that you are fishing for especially if you already know that this is the kind of person you would like to be with so you already know that they have the same kind of values as you um, and they want the same things as you because obviously the first thing that you should be doing when you're on a date is actually trying to find out if this person is right for you and this is the right person to be with but once you realize that and think, okay, there's a potential, this person has a good potential here, um, that is when you start fishing for that emotional connection and those relatable experiences. So you can have something to talk about. So yeah, one of those things is like experiences, having similar experiences and having the same point of view on those experiences. So again, like, going away on holiday, having a favorite holiday destination. Um, it might not be that, it could be, you know, going to, it might be just an actual different kind of place like you go to, you, might, you may have went to the same school, you may have had the same driving instructor or something. So it's, we're having those experiences. Now they don't have to be that similar, they could be just, you know, what is your experience when you went driving? Like either you might really like cars and they might really like cars and then you talk about your favorite cars together and you feel like you've made you found like a kindred spirit so that goes into my next point which is liking the same stuff so one of the things that i discovered on my first date with my now fiance is that we both really liked a certain video game growing up which was harvest moon ds <laughs> and anyway we we I, once i found that out and we was talking about it you know that was like one of those times when we were able to have a really good conversation without it being that awkward and all that kind of thing so basically it's finding that common ground that's what you are looking for that's what builds that emotional connection um, where you can just talk for hours and hours about that topic because you both like it and you both are able to relate to it and basically, the, all this is, is that create having rapport with someone, creating rapport with someone. Um, and that's how you do it. You do it through relatable experiences and liking the same things. Now, you may not, you may be on a date with someone and you might not be able to get down to it on the first date. They might be someone that you're attracted to and they might be attracted to you as well. Um, and you might uh, have the same values and want the same things in life. But it might take a while to have that find that relatable experience. So another way that you can create emotional connection with them and a romantic connection with them um, is through like inside jokes. So um, on the second date that I went with, on with my fiance was um, we, we went to dinner and we also went to bowling and we also went to see a movie. Um, and basically the movie that we saw we kind of just picked because there wasn't anything really that great showing. Um, so we picked a movie, it was uh, called The Mountain Between Us. Um, and basically Kate Winslet's character in this movie was like really useless and because we kind of weren't really that into the movie We didn't really 
find it that interesting. Um, I was able to just sit there and like give little comments about how useless Kate Winslet's character was. Like there's literally a, a point in this movie where uh, is his name? Idris Elba is like literally like having to drag her because she has like hurt her leg or something. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, I kept on making comments to Rosanna about how useless Kate Winslet was and she was laughing like because obviously I wasn't like sh shouting loudly because there were other people in the cinema. But every so often I would make a funny comment about how useless Kate Winslet was in this movie. And it created uh, an inside joke between us because afterwards um, she sent, uh, Rosanna sent me a message after the date. And we were just talking about how useless that character was. <laughs> Again, you know, it was, it was just funny. It was like an in, it's having an inside joke. And that helped build that romantic connection between us because we had an inside joke. You know, it's something that we could bring up on dates further down the road. And what it kind of works is that even though you're flirtatious with your date and you're obviously trying to make it a romantic thing, you also have those kind of little friendship things thrown here and there. And you know, that's how you make a new friend. You do, when you have a new friend and you, you, you get inside jokes together, um, you have relatable experiences, you like the same things. And um, that's what helps create a friendship. And that helps also connect, create a romantic connection as well. But also you can't just rely on that stuff. Obviously you need to be flirtatious on your date. You wanna go for the kiss, you wanna hold her hand. Um, you wanna you know, obviously do those romantic things as well. But to build that connection with each other and to build and the reason why it's important is to build that connection is it because it because it makes the other person feel safe because when we are around people who are not like us um, who don't like the same things as us we tend to be just a tiny bit suspicious of them um, but when we start to really trust someone um, which is what if you're a male or you're just someone who's looking for someone who's feminine and you consider yourself to be masculine um, you want your feminine counterpart to feel safe and comfortable around you um, because that's what's going to help facilitate those romantic feelings for her or him. And you do that by creating those moments and fishing for those moments and finding them. Um, and it's all just about rapport, just being able to have relatable experiences. But if you haven't been doing this kind of stuff before, it can become quite of a subtle art. Um, you need to be very... Um, because obviously because you obviously don't want to be become too pally and too friendly and not enough romance. You need to have a good mixture of both. You know, you need the flirtation, but you also need to have those things that do create friendship and connection. So how can you build attraction while you're not even together? So you've had these similar experiences, you've got a few inside jokes, so how do you keep that attraction going? How do you make it not fall into the friendship zone? So one of the things that you can do is when you are not on dates with each other, you limit the contact in between those dates. Um, so basically, you in, when you first start dating someone, go out with them once a week. And during the week, don't say much to them. Okay, Limit the contact you have with them. Um, and when you do contact them, make sure that it's only to set up dates and to arrange times to get together. Don't use messenger or phone calls or FaceTime as a way to get to know someone. You do that in person on a date. When you are talking to someone via texting, via calling them up or FaceTime, use those opportunities only to be setting up dates. Now, the only time it's an exception is when perhaps she or he says to you, I had a great time or something like that. And you can go, great, thank you. I, I had a good time too. Or um, they might be asking if you got home okay. Um, other times where it's okay is when you first start talking to each other. So perhaps when, let's say, especially if you've met online. Um, so if you've met someone on a dating app, then obviously you need to send obviously a few um messages back and forth to create a little bit of rapport and you may want to add each other on your social media profile so they can check you out and make sure you're not a catfish. Um, if you'd like help with a dating profile then please check out this video. I go into uh, detail there on how to create a good profile on your, uh, your dating platforms so you can get more matches. But in between, especially those first few dates, so like the first month of dating, you should be seeing each other around once a week or once every two weeks, depending on what your schedules are like. Um, 
But once they've got that emotional connection with you, this is especially for those people who consider themselves to be masculine, once you have created that level of comfort and they feel like you know, you're know you a kindred spirit, you get on well with each other, you have that connection, that is when your feminine counterpart will start reaching out to you more. Because at the beginning, you if you're masculine, you probably will be facilitating things a lot more, you'll probably be pursuing a little bit more, and by that I mean you are asking her out once a week or him. Um, and then when they start to feel comfortable around you, that is when they will start reaching out to you more and you won't have to be initiating contact so much. And when that starts to happen, usually after the first month, um, that is when, she, or let's say about the fourth or third date, that is when he or she will start reaching out to you more, feeling more comfortable. And when she does reach out to you or he, um, that is when you can start setting up dates much more quicker and much more sooner. So then you will start to see each other twice a week and then eventually you'll get to around three times a week and then you'll be seeing each other all the time, you know. But these things happen slowly over a period of about three months. So let's say, just uh, for argument's sake, uh, the first month you see each other once a week, um, the second month you see each other twice a week, and the third by the third month you see you're seeing each other three times or possibly more. Um, but that's how you build the attraction slowly. You make them feel comfortable by not bombarding them with messages every day, um, unless they are doing that to you. Then obviously that's okay, unless you feel uncomfortable with it. But if they're reaching out to you and they're showing high levels of attraction for you, then that's fine. You know, just whenever they reach out to you, just ask to meet up and see each other. That's all you need to do when the person you like reaches out to you, just facilitate getting together. That's all you need to do. And when you're on those dates with each other, create more of those moments where you create that emotional connection with rapport by having relatable experiences, by having inside jokes, by finding those things that you both like. And of course, being flirtatious and making it romantic. Just a quick tip on how to tell if a girl uh, wants to be kissed or is ready to hold hands or ready for a hug. Um, you'll know this by um, if she looks at your lips while you're talking to each other. So she may look down at your lips and back up in your eyes and look down at your lips again. That's an indication that she's thinking about kissing you or what, thinking about what it would be like to kiss you. And if she's doing that kind of thing, then go for it. Um, you can tell if a girl is open to being hugged and uh, having her hand held, if she's bumping into you, she might be touching your arm, doing things like that. Basically, if she's touching you, that means it's okay for you to touch her. Um, obviously, not too much too soon. You know, if she touches your arm, then the, you, that might be okay for you to hold her hand. Or if she touches, uh, uh, or if she, and then if you're holding hands, that means it's probably okay for you to be hugging her. Um, and if she's looking at your lips, it's okay to kiss her. Um, and if things progress, then it's okay to take her back to your place or go back to hers. So make sure you're also looking out for those little body language clues on your date as well. Anyway, I hope this has helped you. Uh, please like, please subscribe. If you'd like help with me personally and you need help with a specific situation and you would like coaching, then please go to www.christineloveridge.com shop. Alternatively, you can send me a quick email using... Uh, the email just provided in this video's description box and we can work something out that way and I shall talk to you guys again very soon. Goodbye.